Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video today my friends I'm going to be testing the RX 580 in Watch Dogs Legion This one is the 8GB model as you can see right there I am running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM You should get pretty much the same FPS with something like Ryzen 3 3100 or 3300X As long as you have dual channel fast RAM I got 16GB of 3200MHz CL14 I am also running of course the latest AMD drivers and running in 2020 10.1 and this one is the xfx gts version of the card and here we are i'm gonna go through the settings right now rx 580 i'm gonna be playing here at 1080p resolution 1920 by 1080 using 80 fov because 70 is quite claustrophobic i believe at least in my opinion it is and over on the quality settings i'm gonna be playing in directx 12 instead of directx 11 because it is a little bit more consistent but i believe it has some problems with water so just keep that in mind whenever we are near water the fps are going to drop but moving on i'm going to be playing at the low medium high very high and ultra settings presets not really sure if i'm going to test ultra settings because i don't know if very high is going to be very playable but yeah starting off with the low settings of course here we go this is the preset i'm going to apply that and let's do this so i just marked in the map the lake there and i'm going to start counting our fps over here so uh not bad so far, it's not really a 60 plus FPS experience, uh, maybe it is uh, whenever you are far away from water, like right here, but I believe it will probably drop from 60 FPS here and there sometimes, even if you aren't near water, because it's very very close to 60 at times, you saw like 64, 63 sometimes, uh, which is still pretty damn decent, you know, it's not too bad, in a game like Watch Dogs you can drop into like the 40s and it's still gonna be a very playable and enjoyable experience, in my opinion, of course, is a single player title so you shouldn't really have a problem playing it with the 580 especially if you have the 8 gigabyte model uh, speaking of the 4 gig will still do a very good job at 1080p low settings so the vram utilization is only at 3.5 gigabytes right now and uh, that means that the 4 gig model will run absolutely the same whenever you're playing on low so yeah for those of you interested and with 4 gig cards it should still be very playable of course oh boy Oh boy, there we go. We're in a park. Okay, all good. It's all good guys. Go over here So the averages are still above 60 FPS, which is quite impressive I think the 1650 super should do a little bit better than the 580 in this game because the 1650 the normal one Matched my RX 570 in this one. So it means that the game is a little bit uh, more optimized towards NVIDIA GPUs but the 580 is still doing a fantastic job here. Oh, jeez, that sound though. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go back now to the lake area or the park with the lake, you know. It didn't really drop from 40 FPS too much, only a couple of frames. Now, if you wanted 60 plus FPS, unfortunately, it's not really possible at 1080p with the RX 580, which is quite a shame. I'd like to see that, of course. And maybe that has a little bit to do with the optimization. Maybe it's not not really that well optimized but even on low settings to be honest the game does look pretty impressive in my opinion at least like uh, I think the YouTube compression doesn't really do it justice it's very detailed and uh, it looks quite decent the shadows the reflections on low settings those aren't really that good as you can see there but it's not a bad looking game whatsoever and this over here is my most demanding area so uh, that I found so far at least and we're getting like 40 there so pretty much the same actually as the bridge area uh not bad here we go after a fresh restart of the game we're playing at 1080p with the medium settings preset right now i'm just gonna disable motion blur and that's it let's get into it and here we go everybody we're now on medium and uh, the game looks quite similar to low to be honest and it runs quite similar to low as well so uh that's a little bit weird, but I've seen the same thing with every single GPU so far. So let's start counting our FPS now, and let's move away from here. I think our averages should be 
uh, slightly lower than 60 of course now that we are on medium settings but only like two or three less fps than low so it's not really a big deal if you want to play on medium settings you can definitely do so and still retain uh, a very decent average fps at least a uh, minimum fps i'd like to see that here near the water of course this is a little bit hard how did you manage to get in front of a motorcycle i don't understand this ha ah, these people man in in this game oh no 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 not in the water okay okay um uh, am i fine i uh, okay okay let's go good okay is this the same park i'm not really too sure guys but it's dropping into the low 40s i think it's the same park people come on if you stood still uh, we'd be fine both of us well, I'm still fine, but yeah, she isn't. So, uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, this was a bad idea. Okay, okay, we're gonna go now. And, yep, yeah, that's it for my motorcycle. Yep, yeah, 37, 38 over here. Yep, kind of the same stuff as we've already seen near this area. So, uh, let's just move away from here. Yep, yeah, okay. Everything is fine whenever you are driving through the city, of course. Anyways, the game still looks decent, of course, because we actually increased the graphics, believe it or not. <laughs> I think the reflections might be a little bit better in puddles, at least, but not too sure, really. Let's just try to check it out. Uh, yeah, maybe they are. I think you only reflected, or the game only reflected light in puddles on low settings, or at least there are more puddles right now. Uh, yeah, it's not bad looking. Uh, it still runs pretty well. It still doesn't drop from 30, so that's a very good thing, of course. River time or bridge time, 37. Yeah, it's dropping pretty much the same uh, as in the lake, 35. Okay, I'm just murdering everybody right now. So sorry, people. So sorry. Let's just let's just go this way right now. Yep, not bad. If we kept on moving around here and driving around, uh, we'd. Pr why did you go to the road? I don't understand this. I'm just driving here, just absolutely fine, and people come into the road and die. Oh, what? How did I manage to set that on fire? I don't understand this game. I'm gonna go... Oh, Jesus, what? The, what is happening? <laughs> what? Cars float and I... I'm... I... Is this game finished? Is this a beta? I, I don't understand this. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> And we're back here, we're playing of course at 1080p with the high settings preset, and I'm just gonna disable this of course, here we go. Um, yep, yeah, it's looking definitely better right now, everything's a little bit sharper, the reflections are way better, it reflects like the trees now I believe, and uh... Let me just check his the character here. Eh, looks pretty decent. The textures don't really look that great yet. Uh, they look okay. Oh, oh, there's like a cup, a coffee cup there. That's interesting. Wow, this is very accurate to real life. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna mark that little area once again. The lake. And we're gonna go there, of course. I'm gonna start counting the FPS right now. The FPS aren't really that different yet, coming from medium settings to high. So, uh, that is very interesting. I'd like to see more of an FPS change, at least comparing, like, low to high settings. You only get, like, 10 more FPS on low, which is very weird indeed. And, uh... It's like it will make some of the lower end GPUs unplayable in this game, at least at higher resolutions like 900p or 1080p, maybe. Um, so I'd like to see a lower than low preset, at least like very low, maybe. I'm still gonna test the 1030, of course, here in this game very, very soon, hopefully. And uh, yes, yeah, st stay tuned in for that if you're interested in that, of course. I'm gonna test a lot of more GPUs. Looking at the water there, 42. I want to see it in the sidewalk, actually. Uh, so let's just do that right now. Okay, get out of the way, people, please, please. Oh my gosh, I'm just wrecking my car. I thought I would make a thumbnail with this car, but maybe not. And that guy is just chilling there. There's a police right there. There's a cop. But no, he, he doesn't really care about me killing people here. Anyways, it's dropping into the mid-30s, um, which is kind of the same as medium settings, isn't it, my friends? So, interesting. Most demanding area here, and now it's definitely lower than medium, I think. Yep, 
we're getting like 32 uh, low 30s still very playable though don't get me wrong 30 fps is still okay in a single player title like this one i mean the consoles will probably run it at 30 uh, at least the last gen consoles ps4 ps4 pro xbox one x xbox one i believe something like a ryzen 5 2600 overclocked should also not bottleneck this gpu but i haven't really played around or seen anybody playing with those specs so i can't really comment on that i'm just saying that because going by the gpu or cpu actually cpu utilization uh, here in this game it seems like it is quite CPU intensive and it needs a lot of cores and threads or at least 8 cores and threads. Here we go, we're back at it again, 1080p with the very high settings right now. I'm just gonna do that, of course, as always. <laughs> what the hell? We're still getting around the same FPS. What? What? What is happening with this game? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh, it's, it's at very high settings. I just changed the motion blur setting and that's it. It's still at very high settings, okay? Just just so you know, because uh, it's weird. I know. It's weird for me too. I, I'm i I'm speechless a little bit. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? Uh, it's a little bit more demanding, definitely. I can tell that well, the reflections now in the car uh, are way better than any other setting that we've seen so far. So that's definitely very, very noticeable, as well as the reflections in the puddles there. The textures in the ground are also a little bit better, I believe, and the textures in the leaves as well. Not too bad, not too bad. I'd probably play like this, guys, to be honest. I think the visual fidelity is definitely improved coming from high. I'm so sorry, people. I am so sorry. Oh, I, okay, okay. I have, I didn't really move my camera around. Not sure why the game decided to do that, but that's okay. Let's go this way. Um, all right. Yep. Don't mind me. I'm just a bad driver. You see those every day, I believe. <laughs> I do think that it will drop from 30 FPS in the bridge there, looking at the water, so... That's a real bummer. Oh, it's so close to 30 FPS. Look at that. It's so close, but it's not dropping. It's not dropping yet. Look at that. That is great. Okay, these are great results for the 580. Even with the water bug, you can still play. I, I don't know. I would probably just play like this and leave the FPS unlocked in the 40s because it's definitely way more responsive than 30 FPS. But if you want that console-like experience with decent graphics as well, uh, just set it to very high and play at 1080p very high with 30 FPS locked. I think if you're aiming for that experience, uh, the 580 will do really well. So, okay, park area... Uh, 30. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't really mean to do this. I just wrecked my car, didn't I? Ah, no, it doesn't drop from 30. 1% lows are in the 20s, high 20s there, but I didn't really see it drop from 30 yet. And uh, the game still feels okay. Like 30 FPS okay. Borderline playable, but still playable. And we're back here, 1080p resolution, 80 FOV, ultra settings right now. I'm just going to disable motion blur. And uh, is it playable on ultra, guys? Uh, it's still getting decent frames, above 30. Of course, near water, it's a completely different story. But so far, I actually expected it to run a little bit worse. Uh, this is extremely bad. You should not play like this, of course. The game does definitely look better than very high, by the way, especially the textures. You could increase those textures uh, to, to the ultra setting and leave the rest of the things on the very high preset and it will still look really damn good. So I definitely just do that if you want a little bit better uh, visual fidelity in terms of the textures. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, what am I doing? What is this car handling in this game? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't really like that too much about Watch Dogs. And this is 1080p. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, it drops from 20 FPS. It even drops from 20 FPS. Wow. Okay, that's been it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. This is why I didn't really test the 5700XT at ultra settings, because very high also looks pretty damn good. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next one. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.